Hey guys, so it's been a while since we've had a tutorial, so uh, just in case you've forgotten some of, the, some of the stuff we've learned in the earlier tutorials, you can always go back to uh, the previous videos and refresh your memory a bit. Now, af after you, you've reviewed these tutorials, you can come back to this video. Or if you still remember, then let's continue our Cinema 4D experience. So this is tutorial number four, and today we're going to learn how to make an object editable and what you can do to an object once you make it editable. So what, so what I'm going to do first, I create a cube as we always do. I'm going to drag it up a little, maybe rotate it a little bit for some exposure. Okay, I'm going to go down here to the bottom right hand corner, the shape settings, and you can see it's automatically set to the object tab. Now you can see over here in this column you have three uh, setting bars. You have uh, segments X, segments Y, segments Z. So what segments are is once you set the segments, uh, once you um, once you set the number of segments in a certain dimension to I don't, I don't know maybe a number more than one then every side of the cube facing uh, this dimension or parallel to this dimension will be will be divided into different kinds of segments uh, I mean more like an even number of segments so uh, I'm gonna demonstrate it first because I, I really can't explain it <laughs> um, yeah I'm gonna demonstrate it first so that I'm just gonna show it to you so that maybe that's that's easier to understand. So I'm gonna set segments X, Y, and Z. I'm gonna set them all to three. So now there should be three segments in the X direction, three segments in the Y direction, three segments in the Z direction. Now as you can see on the cube, nothing's really changed, but something should have changed because normally uh, there will be nines uh, that divide the segments in each dimension. So the reason why nothing shows up is because we have, we have, we, we are only displaying the shading of the cube. We're not displaying the nines that divide the segments. So what you have to do if you want to see the nines is that you go up, he up here to display and you click on display GUAD shading nines and now you can see we have segments segments and now you see there are nines so you see there are three segments in the X direction three segments in the Y direction and three segments in the Z direction so it's basically three by three by three so what segments does is it, it basically divides a cube uh, into the number of sections you set in a certain dimension. So it's three by three by three, three in the X, three in the Y, three in the Z. Now I'm gonna show you what happens when I change the segments. I'm gonna go to segments Y, I'm gonna set it down to two. And you see now they are just two segments. So it's, so it's three by three by two. I set it back to three and it's back to uh, even. Uh, even three by three by three segments. So segments are pretty useful because it allows you to be able to modify just one segment at a time. So if, if I didn't want to uh, modify the entire cube, I can just set it to three by three by three segments and I can just modify one segment at a time. Now, in order to do that, this setting segments is only one of the things you need to do. The other, the other thing you need to do before you can uh, modify a specific segment is you have to make the object editable. So once you make an object editable, you have much more freedom to modify the cube in, in more ways and more specific areas as you wish. So this is the editable button right here. And to make the object editable, just click 
that button and now it's editable. So you see over here in the shape organizer it turned into a triangle with three points which is pretty much the editable no-go. And once you make an object editable you cannot make it uneditable again. You can undo to it to make it uneditable but you cannot make it editable, do something with it while it's editable and then make it uneditable again because once it's editable you it you're basically stuck with that because before we make it editable we have a limited freedom of how we can uh, modify the cube so usually uh, before so usually um, my guess is that designers will often make their projects editable but they are just first set segments uh, as a as a outline and template for what they want to do with the cube once they make it editable. So when they make it editable, the segments they set are set in place and they can modify these segments uh, as much as they want. So now, now let's go over what we can do once we make an, this cube editable. We can modify individual points, edges, and s segments, or polygons, or sides, whatever you, whatever you want to call them. Now, if you want to modify individual points, just select this. You see the points highlighted? That means you can select um, individual points. And you can do many things with these points. You can move them. But you cannot scale them because a point is a point. You can't really scale a point. You can't really rotate a point either because it's kind of it's it's just a point. If you rotate a point, uh, think about it. Just nothing happens. It's just it's just like a tiny little uh, point. So the only thing you can do really with a point is you can move it around. Uh, that's all I've discovered. That's all that's that's all you can do with a point that at least I've discovered up to this point. And if you want to modify edges, just click on the next button. It's the edges with the you see the edges higher than orange. You can modify edges. You can drag them. You can scale them as well if you're in the right direction. And you can rotate them as well. And also when you're scaling them what the edges make sure you scale it uh, in the direction the edges is it edges facing or else if you if you want to scale it like up this way it just nothing really happens because you're basically ex, ex scaling its width because a side an edge really has no width and if you scale its width so nothing happens the third button is you can modify individual sides now this is this is why I've made the segments so you can basically modify each individual segment. So you can just click on the seg select the segment you want, you can drag it out and you can scale it as well. Hold on, let me see. Um, yeah, for some reason can't really oh there it is. Okay, so you gotta you gotta scale it in the direct in the direction uh, it's 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 um it's contained on like in the dimension it's contained on, and I believe you can rotate it. Yep, you can rotate it. There we go. I'm gonna set it even again. Okay. So now, what if you wanted to mo? Uh, what if you want to modify two segments at this two individual sections of the cube at the same time? You just click. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm actually. I'm. I'm gonna set it to the selection tool again. When you're selecting faces, you want to. You want to. Um. You want to have the. Have the. Um, con, you have. Well, you want to set it to knife selection before you select individual, uh, face or in anything on this cube, just for convenience. Like when you have it on rotate, it's kind of hard to select multiple s sides with these, rotating tools. So you want to have it on knife selection. So how you can select multiple se segments to modify is you just click and drag on the segments you want to modify. Don't let go, just click and drag. Okay. Now if you click away, all these segments are instantly deselected and you have to start it over again. Now if you want if you only wanted to modify this segment and this segment click and drag wouldn't work. Now what you can do is you first click on this 
click on this uh, segment and then you could sh press shift oh, hold on a second you can then you can press shift and click on the other segment you want to modify so now I've got both segments selected you've got to hold down shift before you select the other segment now so that so that way you can modify these two these two faces these two sides now if you want to deselect a, in a segment you just all you have to do is hold down control and it's deselected just click on one hold down control and click on the one you want to deselect it and it's automatically deselected now also you can color you can put a color on an individual side so I'm gonna go ahead and make that make a just uh, any color would do just a little brown color just for demonstration and once you have a side selected make a color drag it to the side you want and only that side will be set to the color only that segment will be set to the color you want it to be uh, set to now suppose we wanted to hold on I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna do next oh yes okay so suppose we wanted to select every single segment on this side of the cube except for the middle one one way we can do that is just click and drag around the cube that's that's not a bad strategy for in this case but what if we had thousands of segments and we just wanted to make changes to all but one of them so imagine this side out of thousand segments segments we just wanted to uh, change everything except the one right in the middle in that case click and drag would take forever especially if the cube is really really big uh, so what you another good strat so what you can do in these cases is first of all first off you select the segment you don't want to modify then you go up to select the select tab go down to this button called invert and it will automatically deselect uh, what you've selected and select every sing every um every other segment on this cube so you can just modify every other segment according to your so i'm uh, i'm gonna set all these to a uh, to another color i'm gonna deselect that one because i already have it colored just for demonstration i'm gonna make all these other cubes make all these other segments orange so you see this one's brown all these all the other uh, segments except for the one I've selected before I used the tool invert is orange and so that's a very useful tool especially if there are a lot of segments that's a very good shortcut a very convenient way to to select uh, all but a few segments one more thing suppose you let's say you just made a change to this side this uh this this segment now uh, i don't like that okay so let's just say you made us made um a slight change to one of the one of the segments now you want to move the entire cube again so how do you do that so you see this you see this button right here? It hide it. The entire cube is highlight highlighted in orange. So in these three buttons, where we've only modified individual points, only some of the points are highlighted in orange. These, some of the edges are. These, one side of the cube is. This, the entire cube is highlighted in orange. So you, that signifies the entire cube. So when you when you click that, everything you do now is applied to an entire cube so you can move it scale it and rotate it rotate the entire cube so 
that's pretty much the basics. The yeah, the basic fundamentals of uh, what you can do with an object once you make it editable. So that is the end of today's tutorial. Thank you all for listening, and I'll see you next time.